Hey guys, Andrew Marsh here with DrewFit.com. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the benefits of doing an enema. But before I get into that, I want to ask if you guys can please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, share, comment, or leave me feedback for future videos you would like to see. It would be greatly appreciated. And I also want to wish you guys a happy 2019. Um, I hope that you guys have goals in mind that you're wanting to achieve this year. And I want to also throw it out that in the next month or two, I'm going to be uh, increasing my production value on my videos so if you guys have any suggestions or uh, comments that you want want me to review uh, moving forward with my channel I would greatly appreciate it I'm thinking of maybe starting a vlog type series or a day in the life um, I don't know I'm just kind of spinning around ideas right now but if you guys have any suggestions I would love to hear from you so let me jump right into the benefits of an enema but first off actually let me show you what an enema kit actually looks like and I highly encourage anybody who wants to get healthier to purchase an enema kit and it can be on amazon.com that's where i got mine um mine is from aussie health company i'm not affiliated with them i just found a good price i think it's 25 or 30 dollars on amazon and what it comes with is that little bag um, it comes with this little coat hanger holder um, that you use in the uh, for your shower curtain you hang it up here um, and then the bag in which you fill up with the substance, it's going to be distilled water and whatever mixture you come up with. I'll talk about the different kind of mixtures that you can use in a little bit. Um, this tube and then the end piece that you actually insert inside of your bum. Um, and then we also have this little clip right here that actually stops the water so you can insert it properly and then stop when you feel like you've had enough water inserted into you. Um, so that's basically, it's really simple concept, um, but I highly encourage you guys to do some more research on how to perf perform um, an enema safely because it can get a little dangerous. You don't, you don't want to be puncturing uh, holes inside of your intestinal walls when inserting this, so be very careful. And I'll just throw this out there, that when you do insert this part into your body, that you should lubricate it with coconut oil so you... Uh, don't damage your intestinal lining, like I said. So I want to throw that out there and make it very clear. And also, when doing an enema, you want to make it uh, make sure that you're only using distilled water. You do not want to be using tap water, spring water, or anything that has dissolved solids in there. You want to be using clean, pure water. So with that being said, the benefits that come along with doing an enema. It's pretty simple. Its main objective is to, number one, cleanse the digestive system. And the reason why this works so well is because it is a straight shot into your di di uh, digestive system, um, into the colon, where you accumulate all of the toxic waste before you release, and it's really cleansing out that area of the body um, and into your intestines as well. Number two benefit is that it's going to help you lose weight, and the reason it does this is because it is releasing all of those toxins. So if you're eating a healthy diet, um, it'd be a bright idea to do an enema because when you get all that junk outside of your intestines and colon, you're actually being able to absorb and utilize the nutrients from the foods that you're eating and you're not having toxic buildup inside of your body, keeping you from actually absorbing the nutrients that you're consuming. So number three, it's also going to enhance mental clarity. And the reason it does this is because like I said, it takes out all of the toxic buildup inside of your digestive tract. And like I've talked about in my other videos, if you have a toxic digestive system, you're going to have a toxic mind, meaning you're gonna have memory issues, you're gonna have uh, low cognition skills, you're going to notice uh, brain fog, mental fatigue, so on and so forth. So when you begin to clean your digestive system up with an enema, you're gonna notice things like enhanced memory, uh, more mental energy, better cognition, um, you're going to be memorizing things a lot easier, um, so on and so forth. And then another thing that plays into this, um, and a lot of people um, that are on the spiritual side of things will say that enemas also help decalcify the pineal gland. Now the pineal gland is a gland that sits inside of our head, um, in our brain, and it's actually been called the third eye, meaning that we're able to tap into our spiritual selves, be able to live in the moment, um, astral project, so on and so forth. Um, a lot of people don't believe in it. I personally do believe in the pineal gland and its superpowers that come along with it. So that's another huge benefit and I want you guys to do your research on the pineal gland because uh, I think a lot of us have a calcified pineal gland and we're really not being able to tap into that spiritual side of ourselves. 
Um, number five and six, and I'll kind of tie these together, is that doing enemas really help de-age and make the body more youthful, and it also gives you glowing, healthy skin. So if you're somebody that suffers from maybe premature aging, or if you have uh, wrinkles or fine lines, maybe you suffer from psoriasis or a skin fungal issue, acne, whatever it is, cleansing out all those toxins inside of your dige digestive system, whether you have candida or um, SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, doing an enema really helps cleanse all of this junk out of your body. And when you have clean inside skin, it's going to show on your outside skin as well. So it's very important that we aren't only taking care of our outside skin, but that we're taking care of our inside skin by eating a healthy diet, getting out in the sun, doing things like an enema. So really all of these things come together and really help de-age your body and beautify your skin. Now the number seven benefit that you're going to notice is that it's going to help relieve constipation. And that's pretty simple because it is a straight shot right to the colon, uh, the last part of the digestive system before you release um, going number two. Um, and that's, that's, I can't much say much more about that, but yeah, it's going to relieve constipation. So if you're somebody that suffers with constipation, an enema is going to work wonders for you. So what types of enemas can you do? Well, I'm only going to talk about five. There is actually quite a bit of uh, different types of enemas that you can do. Um, I'm only going to talk about the ones I've had experience with trying. Um, number one, you can do just a plain old distilled water enema. Um, where you basically fill up however much of the bag you want. Um, you can do the whole bag, you can do half the bag, um, whatever you want to do, the more the better in my opinion, but be very careful and take it slow. Um, distilled water enema, very simple, just distilled water, heat it up. Um, number two, you can do a sea salt enema. Um, just taking probably a pinch or a teaspoon of sea salt and make sure that you stir it in. You don't want to put the granules of the salt inside of your colon. Uh, so make sure that you stir it up until it becomes part of the water. Um, number three, I actually haven't tried this one, so I lied. I haven't tried all of these. Um, you can do a coffee enema. Um, I heard great benefits with that, especially if you're somebody that suffers from parasites or candida. I've heard coffee enemas work wonders for those things. Um, but you want to make sure that you're getting an organic coffee. You do not want to do commercial because those things are heavily sprayed with uh, pesticides, herbicides, whatever it is. Um, you do not want to be entering that back into your system. So go, go organic and uh, do more research on that. Um, you can also do a lemon enema. That's one of my favorite ones. I squeeze uh, a lemon juice into the distilled water and stir it up that way and put... Um, Put that mixture in the enema kit as well. And number five, if you aren't practicing urine therapy, um, I wouldn't advise doing this just yet, but maybe you will. Um, but a urine enema is probably the best type of enema that you can do. It's the cleanest, most pure water. Um, and it actually has urea in it, which is a cleansing agent, and it will cleanse your digestive system like nothing else will. So those are the five types of enemas that I've had experience with or have actually researched. Um, so do more research on the topic. Now what I want to talk about is how to perform an enema safely. Now I'm not going to get into um, detail as much as other people will. So do more research, search other videos. It's very simple. Just do a simple search on YouTube, um, how to perform a safe enema. And there's a lot of great resources out there. But the basics, number one, you're always going to want to use distilled water in all of your mixes. You do not want to use spring water, tap water, alkaline water, whatever it is. You want to do distilled water. Reason being is it's clean. There's nothing in it except for water, um, and it won't cause damage to your intestinal lining. So distilled water. And what you want to do, Number two, you're going to want to heat up the distilled water. And you're going to want to heat it up using a stove. You don't want to use a microwave um, simply because that stuff is radiation and you don't want to use radiated water inside of your body. So heat it up using a stove safely. Um, and you don't want it to be too hot of water. If it's too hot water, then that means it can be very damaging to your intestinal tract, which would be bad things. So keep it lukewarm. You want to be able to stick your finger in there and hold it without any pain. You want to feel that it's a little warm to the temperature, not anything hot. 
Um, so be very careful when doing that. Number three, if you're going to use a mixture like sea salt, lemon, coffee, uh, whatever it is, make sure that you stir it up good enough to where there aren't granules um, and that it actually becomes part of the water so it can flow, flow easily through your body. Um, number four, like I was talking about when using the enema kit, the part that you stick inside of your body, you want to lubricate with coconut oil or some other kind of safe lubricant. Um, I think coconut oil is the best um, because this thing can actually puncture the intestinal wall. And again, that would be very bad for your health. So the reason with an enema, we want to be safe and actually benefit our health. So use coconut oil as a lubricant when inserting it inside of your, you know. <laughs> uh, number five, um, once you've inserted it and uh, allowed the water to run into the body, you're going to want to lay on the floor. I like to elevate my legs so I can make sure the water is running through my intestines and cleansing my whole digestive system out. Um, so you, you don't want to stand up immediately. I say put your legs in the air for about one to two minutes. Um, if you can do a handstand, I've seen people do a handstand that's a little crazy, um, but hey, crazy work sometimes. Um, so elevate your legs and then you can stand up, walk around, but you want to be very careful. Don't walk around too far. Stay near the restroom. Um, I have heard of people having uh, accidents um, as the water will run out of them too soon and other disgusting stuff will come out. So stay near the bathroom, but you can stand up. Um, and once it hits about the 10 or 15 minute mark, that's how long I can hold them in. Some people can only last a couple minutes. You'll slowly work yourself up uh, the more you do them. Um, but for the final two to three minutes, I highly recommend people lay on your right side and then to your left side before you get up. And that's only for the final two or three minutes. And the reason being is because your large intestine sits on the left side of your body, which is uh, the last part before you release. So at the very end of lying on the ground, you want to roll over to your left and then get up and then go to the bathroom and then release. Um, and like I said, stay near a restroom for at least one hour after doing the enema and during the enema, you wanna stay near the restroom just in case. So don't do this if you're gonna to have to be on the road or if you're gonna to go to the office or if you have a date or whatever it is, um, at least give yourself an hour, maybe two hours, depending on how much toxic buildup you have and depending on what concoction you use. Personally, I've done a urine enema and that one was the most cleansing, so it, I needed to be near the bathroom for the uh, longest period of time doing that. But test these different types of enemas and see which one works best for you. And that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to drop me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And I also encourage you to do more research on enemas because I think there's a lot of great information out there and I want you guys to be safe when practicing this. So thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.